This video is the part one of a new series on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a CSS battle series. And on this series, we'll be fighting CSS battles. And what do I mean by this? Well, I don't know if you know of the CSS battle website. On this website, you can find a lot of CSS tasks, or you can call them challenges, or you can call them battles. And what you have to do for this task is to write the CSS code to achieve the target result for each battle. So in this series, I'll be making different videos showing you how I approach solving these CSS problems. Some videos in this series could be live streamed or they would be pre-recorded. But one thing I can assure you is that they will be unedited. So you can see how much time it takes me to actually solve each battle. You can also see my thought process. You can also see how I approach problems, how I talk to myself and the different things I do in trying to write CSS code to achieve a particular result. And I hope that you're going to learn from the video in this series and you also get to learn new CSS tips, practices or CSS knowledge that you didn't know before. Anyways, let's jump to the part one as we solve the first problem on the CSS battle website. So we'll be starting with this task. This is called simply square. And what we have to achieve is this one on the right here. You can see this is called the target. So we have this light green box here and we have it here in this brown background. So we have to replicate this in this space here which is called output and this is where we are going to write our code and this is actually an easy way to kick off this series because this is simple i'm also going to turn on this slide and compare so that i can easily like slide and compare what i have with what the target is so let's start by writing the code first this div should not have this background instead it should have this light green background so i'm going to copy it here you can see these are the colors that we need here copy it and then I paste it here. So now I have that green and then for the background, I'm going to say body and then in the body, I'm going to have background and I'm going to copy this one here. I copy it by just clicking on it and come here and paste it. And now I have the background. And the next thing I have to do is to make sure that this is at the right point with this. I'm going to turn off this for now. So how do I do that? Um, maybe for the body if I remove the padding no that does nothing what if I remove the margin okay so I think by default in CSS the body has a margin and the margin was affecting this div so I've turned that off next thing I have to do is make it the size of this one and there is no way I can find the size of this one so I'm just going to be trying out different numbers so let's say I try out 200 pixels Oh, if this is a square, another beautiful thing I can do here is aspect ratio, one, one. Um, if you don't know about the aspect ratio property, I have a video on it. I'm going to link it in the video description. So by setting an aspect ratio of one, one, when I make the width 200 pixels, the height will automatically be 200 pixels. If I make the width 150 pixels, the height will automatically be 150 pixels. So I'm going to try 160, 170, 170 doesn't look like it, 180 doesn't look like it, 190 doesn't look like it, 200, does 200 look like, like it? I'm going to slide and compare. Oh look, 200 looks like it. So if I make this 190, you see there is a slight difference here. And if I make this 200, now by sliding and compare it is exactly how I want it to be. And yeah, I think I'm done with this task. Uh, where do I submit? Okay, now I can submit. Well, great. Yeah, I got it accurately. Well, anyways, this is the first part of the series. So watch out for more parts of the series where we solve more examples on CSS battles.